I'm Kurt Loder with an MTV News special report. Guns N' Roses singer Axl Rose was arrested at John F. Kennedy International Airport in New York on Sunday morning at 8.45 when he and his uh, girlfriend, model Stephanie Seymour, stepped off a Concorde flight from France where they had been vacationing prior to the start of the big Guns N' Roses Metallica tour that kicks off this coming Friday. Rose was held in airport detention for several hours and then was transported to the nearby Queens Courthouse for booking and arraignment. Here's what happened then. Actually, you all right? No, 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 no. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. What happened? Um, the prosecutor reneged on a promise he made. I'm, I'm going there uh, on the 15th, and he said it wouldn't happen any life. You'll be out soon? I think so. Rose had been arrested on an outstanding warrant issued months ago by a prosecutor in St. Louis named McCulloch, who had been trying for nearly a year to get Rose to return to that city to answer to four misdemeanor assault charges and one misdemeanor property damage charge stemming from a riot at a Guns N' Roses concert in St. Louis last July. After three and a half hours at the Queen's Courthouse, Rose was released on $100,000 bail and an agreement that he would finally fly back to St. Louis this week, as he'd already planned to do. We jumped into a limo with him for an exclusive interview on the way back to his hotel in Manhattan and asked him how he'd been treated in jail. What do they do when they put you in jail? Did you have a cell by yourself or were there other people? Did you get to talk to any other like, inmates or anything? You know, I'm, I basically spent my time writing autographs for cops and talking with them about rock and roll. I met all these really cool cops that were telling me all about when they went to Woodstock and everything. It was great. New York cops are the best. <laughs> the question in many observers' minds, of course, was why Rose didn't just return to St. Louis to plead his case months ago. According to Rose, it's taken this long to work out an ironclad deal, which, as things stand now, means a sentence of two years probation reduced to one year. We've just been waiting till like, to get... The, the case somewhat solidified and in writing before we go because I don't want to go there and get set up. You know, well, you come here, it's going to be like this, and then it's, it's a whole different story, and, and you end up sitting in St. Louis for a long time. What does probation mean? You can't do any, come back to St. Louis and do something bad, or you can't do something bad anywhere in the country? It's like anywhere. It, it's anywhere, but I'm not really worried about any of that because I really don't spend my time breaking the law, so... I'm not really worried about that. It just depends on, you know, if you play some place where somebody doesn't like rock and roll or Guns N' Roses, they could say I did something, you know. You never know what will happen with that. And what exactly happened at that St. Louis concert one year ago? Did Rose provoke a riot, or was he simply reacting to a collapse in concert security? Here's what he told us. We have a tape of one guy on stage with a knife, and uh, we lost a million dollars worth of equipment in that, in that show. and. I don't see anybody else taking any responsibility for anything. I'm I'm saying, yeah, I jumped off stage, and yeah, things went haywire after that, and I maybe I could have handled it better or whatever, but no one was really handling anything at that point, so I took it into my own hands with what I could do, and what crossed my mind that time, because I've been pretty much pushed to the limit by their lack of security. Um, but I don't see anybody else in St. Louis really taking any uh, responsibility for anything that happened. At one point, Guns N' Roses had offered to play a free concert in St. Louis to make amends, but city authorities were apparently not eager to have the band back in town again. So on the eve of his return to St. Louis for his long-delayed arraignment, how does Rose feel about that Midwestern city? Go to Missouri about one more time. <laughs>